Hello. Hey, man. Welcome to Toy Fair. How are we doing? We're doing pretty good. Good. How are you doing? I'm all right. I'm, I'm tired, but I'm excited. I love it here at Toy Fair. You're here day three? Man, is it? I think it is. I think it's day five for me. I got here Thursday. It's been, well, look, it's been wild. Show, I haven't seen everything. So I know, I know. Take, why don't we take a little tour? Yes, let's do that. Let's talk about Disney. Pardon me. All right, man. Hey, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. Uh, all right. Disney. You know, a lot of a lot of what we do is, is some of the classic stuff. And a lot of people love our, our super size figures, which, I mean, look at these. They're basically life size versions of those characters that you love Scrooge McDuck. Pinocchio, Mickey Mouse. Queen of Hearts is obviously not life size, but you get it. But look at this guy. That guy's new. That's new. Donkey Pinocchio from after he smoked the cigar. Everybody remembers that part. <laughs> Remember it vividly from my childhood. That's right. That is great. Yeah, that's are these all are there pending, so we don't know release date. Some of them are pending approval, but there's uh, the only, only yeah, Pinocchio sorry, Donkey Pinocchio is pending. All the others are available right now. So you can go to super7.com, grab your super size. Very cool. And do you have any other that you haven't announced yet that might be coming down there's, the line? There's some we're working on. I can't tell you all the good stuff just yet. You can't you know. give all the details. No. No, not at all. Continuing with Disney. Continuing with Disney. This is the Disney case. All of our ultimates here. Uh, Robin Hood is available now. Same with uh, Mad Hatter and Alice, but what we're showing off for the first time here is the production samples for Queen of Hearts, Stitch, and then the Big Bad Wolf as well. That's all Disney Wave 3, I think. Again, still pending licensure approval, but they are they are pretty much done, so very exciting. And upon that approval, they could be ready by the end of this year? That's right. That's the plan as we're trying to get them out of the end of the year here for everybody. So happens. just in time for Christmas. Nice. We'll see them on Super 7. For that's right. That's right. And then familiar with the reactions that we do here. Everybody loves these. I love the, the, two, the Mickey and Friends. The Cowboy Mickey is so good. The horse is amazing. Uh, Pete getting the love he deserves as well. You never do a steam, you did a Steamboat Willie, right? I don't know if we did a Steamboat Willie, but we should. We should. So that would be good. And uh, yeah, then more ultimates to the to the right here. I think, so, and then uh, yeah, actually, Ben Alligator is also new, so okay. he's part of that that wave as well. So you're you're on wave what now with the ultimates? Uh, four or five, I think at this point. Because yeah, these are um, Jack and Sally are I think were part of wave four. I'm not on Disney specifically. It's hard to keep track of all this awesome stuff that we make, yeah, but yeah. Uh, even I have to do my best and watch. Go to places like the Figure Report for all the news on Super Shame 7. Plug. There you go. Right there you go. I love Haunted Mansion. I know Everyone that. does, man. Does it, right? Yeah, it's your favorite ride. So, reaction figures, that's wave two, because we did the first wave of the Hitchhiking Ghosts. Uh, but then, yeah, just continuing, because Haunted Mansion rules. So, we got to have all that. And then we're testing out some new stuff here with a, a Super 7-specific PDQ for some of those partnered retailers who want to help us out. Uh, and you know, you, you, they're slotted to just fit reaction cards. So you can put any kind of license all in there together, but it's all about you know, brand recognition with Super 7. That is great. I love that part. Inside Out part might be my favorite. That's, that's a Very really fun one. It's yeah. a really fun one. Continuing with Super Size, obviously we have the Peanuts here with the kind of Halloween collection with Lucy and then Charlie Brown with his ghost sheet. Uh, best part about it, if you open up the bag that he comes with in his hand, there's actually a rock in there. It's not a real rock, but it's a tooled rock. So. Oh, oh no. Here he comes. Here he comes to crash the party. I'm crashing. Because I How crash things. Adam is crashing. He crashes all of my streams. I didn't wear my Moon Knight scarf today. Uh, yeah. It's too it warm. So, it's too warm. I know. It's uh, and it's not a, a V either. This is actually a head. This is a but, you, but you've what? turned it into a deep yeah. case. No, you you yeah. um, <laughs> text me or call me back. Are you busy uh, after oh. after my? Computer? Sure, I will. I will call you or text you okay, back. Okay, because I have an introduction I want to make. Okay. okay. Yes, okay. I'll find you. Cool. Job yes. Okay. All good. Thanks, Adam. Bye. What a charmer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Keep that in. Yeah, no, that's going in the edit. <laughs> yes, of course. So, super size, like we're saying, Halloween collection. This was the very first Peanuts one that we did. Uh, actually, it's not. Take that back. That's the second one we ever did. The first one had the Charlie Brown mask right. with the shirt on, too. So, 
Um, but look, again, to me, these are just, these are life size. Like, yeah. I always think of these as like those, those kids at that scale. Uh, Peppermint Patty is new. She hasn't been seen live yet before, but look how cute she is. So, so adorable. I don't really remember Charlie Brown wearing a red shirt. That was the first version of him, I believe. And then the yellow shirt came later. But he's wearing the yellow shirt underneath the ghost, uh, the ghost sheet there. So he brings the house too. Yep, that's the package he comes in. So you know, oh, okay. so he can fight flying ace. He can fight the red baron, and all that fun stuff. Uh, some more reaction offerings from Peanuts, uh, and then the newest reaction offering from Peanuts is the holiday box set. You may not know Peanuts. You may not know who those guys are in the box, but everybody remembers that Christmas tree. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, that's a classic. Yep. The staple of my childhood. That's right. Uh, down here on the left, we're trying some new things. You know, maybe some Keshi figures and some slime in a trash can. Calling it Monster Vomit. Name could be pending. Sound off in the comments if you think that's a genius name or it needs work. Uh, then, I like it. thank you, thank you. Uh, blind Box has also been working really well for us lately. So, putting a bunch of different Snoopies in a blind box all together and it's been it's been going really well for us and like we used to do uh, Keshi blind box as well so. I, don't know who I almost wore my Richard Scary shirt today. oh did you pick it up from Comic-Con I did it no okay. it's one that I picked up a while ago excellent I'll, now I regret it right. oh you're good you're good but yeah Richard Scary uh, Wolfgang Wolf I think is the first time we're showing him off as well so that's very exciting uh, again, to me, the, yeah. the part of the beauty of, of yeah. the super size is that some of these characters feel like the life size versions yeah. of them. Yeah. Um, they're really fun. All tailored soft goods, stitching, embroidering, all that amazing stuff. Um, then here, this is the first time we're showing off Kubo from Kubo and the Two Strings. Uh, I don't know about you, but I love Leica movies. Yeah. I think they're some of the best uh, stop motions out there. And yeah, Kubo's a, a great movie, and so it, it looks like it jumped out of the movie. And now it's on your shelf, so it's really exciting. Is the plan maybe to do more animated characters? I like would love to, yeah. I mean, especially Leica, there's so many characters we should still be doing. Box Trolls, Paranorman. Yeah. Um, yeah, all, uh, so many cool characters. I mean, I'd love just a Leica like, reaction set of like kind of the core characters. Yeah, you know, great. You know sure. Kubo, Coraline, Paranorman, Monster Missing House. Link. Yep, Monster Up, uh, yep. So that'd be great. And then, I mean, look at these guys. Oh, do I need to introduce them? I don't no. think you do, but what, might as well do. Yeah, Super Grover. Yeah, see, look at him. He looks amazing. He's so adorable. He's so happy to be here. Uh, tailored cape. The uh, the knight helmet. Actually, the little thing slides up and down. Uh, he's five feet away as well. But then, I mean, the star of the show really here is is the count. Uh, it's probably difficult to pick up on camera, but. I think Michael can see it here. Like, look at the plastic on him. Like, there's felt texture on his like face and hands. Oh yeah, which is is pretty crazy. Yeah, it is there. Yeah, and then you know the inside of that cape is wild and just so fun. Count's my favorite character from Sesame Street, so I'm He's top tier. Top yeah. tier Sesame yes. Street. Yes. Yeah, goaded Sesame Street hey, character. Goated. He's up there. I like Fabio the big would say. Yeah. I think Oscar the Grouch might be the, my favorite. I, that that has to be the next one we do. I, yeah. I might, I, if it's not, I might quit. Who knows? Yeah, for that yeah. One. Uh, uh, new new offering for us this year is the Halloween Kids reaction sets. So it's uh, you know either royal like public domain characters or characters we own or a licensed character uh, of kids dressed up as those characters. So you know Bachelor and Captain Deadstar from the Worst and Mummy Boy. But then I mean like Metal Luna Mutant. That's a public domain one. Um, and then the Misfits, our friends of the Misfits were able to help us out. But I love those because you can't really see it, but if you turn it to the side, you can. it looks like they're wearing those like kind of old Ben Cooper style like oh, back really? form masks. Oh, okay. So, I see it, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's super okay. fun. Yeah. Uh, then everybody's familiar with The Weirdest, came out this year, just kind of a continuation of our, of our own IP. The Worst, which is, you know, the world's craziest villains and bad guys. So some recolors here of Killer Bat. King Helm, and then uh, currently up for pre-order right now is The Worst Wave 4 with Hellfire Black Falcon and Frozen Death Robot Reaper. And Bachelor and uh, 
Yeah, and tests are already out, baby. Yeah, those are from Wave 1. Uh, wave 2 is actually currently shipping to people right now. Cool. As well. Great. Wave 3? Uh, still in development, yeah, so. It's Not coming. Announced, but okay. No, no, we, we already, we already right? pre-ordered it. Okay. That's the yeah. Killer Bad and the Cortex right. Commander. Right, 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 yeah. right. And more worse characters. These are the infrared recolors of X1 through 5. And then down here, just some more some more history of the worst that we've done with these Remco card backs, the uh, four horsemen, four jaguar men of the apocalypse, I guess, and then other recolors. And then Super Size Reptar, because he's so big we had nowhere else to put him. <laughs> so, but we love Reptar. We so. do love Reptar. We do love And then the Super Shoguns. I, I mean, people viewing at home, I mean, you probably saw the camera move back here. Michael kind of has to yeah, take a step back to get them all inside of the camera here because they're so massive. These guys are 24 inches tall. He's 18 inches tall, Mechagodzilla, but there's there's a real shelf presence to these guys. Yeah. So Mechagodzilla is shipping soon to people, and uh, it's exciting because he scales directly with that original Shogun Godzilla. So after 40 years of waiting, Godzilla finally has a friend to play with here. And workable or fight. missiles too, right? Workable missiles. Every single missile fires out of that hand. <laughs> so, and those missiles will work with some of your old Shogun figures as well. They're wow. basically the same. Oh wow. Uh, same piece. That's so amazing. yeah, really exciting. Um, then yeah, Super Cyborgs. We've been doing these for a while, but uh, I think people still don't really know that we have them. And they're, they're just they're just fun kind of you know anatomical toys a little bit, and they kind of tie to some old toy history. Uh, your, your, our toy historians who watch are probably familiar with the old Henshin cyborgs from yeah. uh, Japan, and uh, that's kind of where we got the inspiration here. And that toy line actually went on to become Transformers in a weird way, so it's pretty cool to be able to go full circle with that and have the Transformers in our Super Cyborg format. That's so cool. Um, I love this one. That one's actual, cool. cool. Yeah, the actual the guy in there. Yeah. yeah. And that's the first one that has multiple plates. So you put that one on top of it to cover the guy, and then you put the actual outside cover on that as well. So he's kind of got, he's kind of like an inception. He's got like double, triple layer of cyborg robot part goodness. Yeah. Then of course, my, my boys, the Dragon Zord. Love him. Uh, and then the Megazord here as well. This is uh, a recolor in the black and gold. First time we're showing that off. It's great. I love working on them, and uh, yeah, we've had a lot of positive reception to Zords and monsters and some of the other figures we've done as well, uh, specifically in reaction to. Yeah. So, but these are all first time we're showing these off. Uh, Mechagodzilla we showed off before, but uh, we recently uh, debuted online the images for our Iron Giant and our creature from the Black Lagoon, and those are these are the first time we're seeing them. These are the production ones. We take all those parts off. That's really rad. Looks insane. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's even crazier over here in the corner is the prototype for Super Cyborg Voltron. You can take the entire like front half of him off, so it's basically like a double layered figure because it works both ways. So there's like a whole other figure inside of another shelled figure. It's it's pretty wild. A uh, lot of engineering went into that. Shout out to the Super Seven Sculpt team who had. Uh, a fun time, a difficult time, a long time <laughs> it's a mix working two, on that. Right? Yes, it's, a, it's a little bit of all it's three. Fun. Yes, exactly. It's a fun design challenge. How's that? Fun, fun. That's right. Uh, yes, I mean, now we're getting so into the music cool. stuff. Yeah. So that's the production on ODB. That'll be shipping out to people very soon. Are we doing more Wu Tang? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, look at this. Look, look Ghostface Killer. <laughs> Haven't shown that to anybody. So slowly but surely getting all 47 members of the Wu-Tang Clan. In reaction and <laughs> yeah. ultimate or what's... You know, if, if their sales warrant an ultimate, we'll get there. So my, I always tell people if you're interested in a character and you want an ultimate of it, buy the reaction first. Got to make sure, you know, the reality of the business is that people understand one language and that's money. So you got to vote with your dollar. So the this is... A, over there, that's, that's right. Crazy. And it comes with the single. Oh, and the playable yep playable single and it comes with the uh, single adapter but that also doubles as his figure stand so you can put him on there and have him spin on the record with that it that is amazing yeah is that for pre-order right now 
I believe that's. I believe so. I think that's coming. That's going to ship out later this year. So. Okay. Yeah, I think that's through our music music partners, our music distribution partners. Is that a Super Seven store exclusive or? I'm not 100 percent sure about that. So. Uh, check back with me later. We'll add that into the edit or something. Yeah. Yep. Um, but yeah, more hip hop stuff. This is the first time we're showing off DMX as well, and I think maybe Biz Marquee. Uh, I love DMX because he has the actual tattoo of his dog on his back. Is it, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Uh, it's that's all about cool. the details here yeah. with the music figures. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Sabotage 3 pack. Uh, something, yeah, it comes with a poster inside, something people may not know there. So that's okay. always fun. So cool, cool, um, cool. Yeah, it's a right there poster inside. Like yeah. Cool. And that's not available yet for pre order. Uh, I think it is. I think it might be, yeah. Right. So it's coming soon. Cool. And Intergalactic. The yeah, yeah. Bowl. That two back came out last year. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it's, oh, man. I was going to say, we at one point we had all three of the Beastie Boys in his little like chest thing, like oh, the music really? video, but I don't think they made it. So uh, that's okay. Maybe a, maybe a recolor, who knows? Okay. So. More reaction. Yeah, more reaction stuff. People are familiar with a lot of this stuff. It's all available now. Um, and then below that, you know, our Princess Bride, which has some of the most beautiful card art I think we've ever commissioned. Um, look right out of a storybook. And then next to that is the um, debut of some new carded re uh, reactions for Dungeons and Dragons with the sacred statue in the red box fighter, or formidable fighter, but now on card. So that's always cool. Yeah, and then below that is the Toxic Crusaders, which are all shipping now, or wave three. And then here in the corner, that's uh, your first look at a New York Comic Con exclusive glow radiation ranger. Would that just be on site or will it be available? A little bit of both, yeah. And then prototypes for Conan, wave five and wave four with the king, and then the Battle of the Mounds wave, which is great, because Subutai and Valeria have never had toys before, but now they finally get their action figures. I know some people had complained online about the feet not hitting the floor, but it looks like they're actually hitting there. Yeah, yeah, he, he sits down he's correctly. Down and we don't have the fists for whatever reason, but he can like hit that sitting pose. Okay. Because if you look at the elbows there, they're super deep cuts. So you can really get it up there. Yeah. I realize it's I'm you know you all have to take my word for it, but trust me. <laughs> There's one person you can trust this time. Ah, uh, okay. We'll see about that. I'm not sure. But more fun reaction stuff, Devo, sex. Pistol. Yes, lots of music stuff. Um, some of this is new, like Joe Strummer and Johnny Ramone and Blondie. Dee Snyder came out recently, so did Jimi Hendrix, but these are the prototypes, test shots for Motley Crue from the Shout at the Devil video, which we're very excited about. Uh, then up here we have some more music goodness. These are the Misfits 5.5 vintage figure format. Uh, these are you know, very similar to uh, you know, Masters of the Universe figures of old because you know, uh, most people may not know, but uh, Glenn Danzig himself was a big Motu collector back in the day. So he specifically requested this format for Misfits and, and Danzig wow, figures. That's, that's, that is a yeah. seal of approval if I've ever heard one. Uh, and another, uh, another fun fact there is that uh, when I started at Super 7 five years ago, this was the very first project I worked on. Oh, really? Yes. They finally have come out, so we're very one, excited. That's, that's Sam Hain. That's uh, also another band of Danzig. So Danzig obviously started with the Misfits, and he decided to do his solo stuff, and that first band that he did was Sam Hain, and then the Sam Hain band eventually became what is known as Danzig. I always thought Danzig would have been the great Wolverine. I do too. I, I he we has keep the we keep build for it, we keep know? talking about multiverse. And I kind of want to go to the multiverse where he's he he is Wolverine. He's Wolverine. Yeah, which would have been really fun. Uh, Rooker Howard is Magneto. Oh, that's not a bad idea actually. I like that. Uh, next to those guys, we have the prototype for Zarface and uh, the test shot for Papa Emeritus the Third, my favorite band, Ghost. Then uh, to the right of that, you have the production samples of Cliff Burton and Lemmy Kilmeister, as well as the test shot for the Show No Mercy Minotaur from Slayer. 
very excited about that. These these metal these metal figures are sort of my like pride and joy working yeah. here, so I'm, I'm very excited about a lot of these. Anything else you can announce of other metal uh, pioneers? Uh, not necessarily yet, but uh, New York Comic Con is next week, so who knows? Who knows? Who knows what who knows? we'll do? You know. That's right. I, Maybe. Do I? Who knows? Am I supposed to? Uh, My Chemical Romance is the first time we're showing off the card art here as well. And then uh, Dio and Grateful Dead. And then skateboarding kind of goes hand in hand with music. So we're showing off a lot of our Power, Power Peralta collection here with the, the figures. And then these PDQs down here in the, uh, in the bottom row. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Uh, this is now the Universal Monsters case here. Um, these are the Universal Monsters soapies, which very, very, very cool vintage type uh, format here. Everybody remembers those old soap bottles, or maybe you don't, but a long time ago they used to make soap bo like shampoo bottles that yeah. looked like yeah, the yeah, Universal yeah, Monsters. Yeah. Uh, and so we decided to do the same thing, but ours are bubble wands. Oh, it's like okay. you can blow bubbles out of them. That's a good one. So, and I just like seeing them all together here and get the full collection. Uh, there's the full color one, there's the silver screen one, but then look at this Halloween orange. It's just, I, you know, I say it's, it's difficult to look at in the best way possible. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like, like when you stare at a highlighter for too long, True. your True. eyes kind of like, oh, what's going on? Look, it's all those like uh, art pieces you can talk about. You yes, know, absolutely. Like, conversation stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. Uh, that's good. Pumpkin spice creature from the Black Lagoon. That's good. Uh, then uh, some recent horror figures that we solicited not too long ago, the glow-in-the-dark Metal Luna Mutants with uh, all of his accessories. Um, unfortunately, Count Orlock got lost in shipping, so that's why there's a notice noticeable absence from the shelf here. But uh, if he ever makes it out, I'll be sure to put him out on the shelf. But then um, kind of the first viewing back there of uh, Super Pack, which is our, our sort of pre-order incentive, you know, we order directly from Super 7, you get some bonus materials, like for these guys, it's these extra heads uh, as well. And we're, we're trying to do them blister carded and all that stuff, but um, it's cool to finally like get to see it in fruition, because I, I, even I have never seen one of these Super Packs just yet, so. First time, right? Yep, cool. exactly. Uh, first time we're showing off Gremlins reaction. Lots, lots of fun to be had there. And you're doing Gremlins 1 for now, and then the Gremlins Yeah, if we find that there's a demand for more Gremlins, we'll, we'll definitely get into other movies. Yeah. I mean, we got, you know, Spider Gremlin. I you know, know the, the, yeah, the Electricity Gremlin. Electricity and, Gremlin. Yeah, all those crazy ones. Yeah. And behind that, you get uh, Tarman from Return of the Living Dead, which is always a fun horror design. Then uh, the first time we're showing off Willy Wonka. Here as well. And these three are the first wave? I believe so, yeah. There might be a couple others, but those are the first time we're showing them off. They've done really well. Vincent Price. They're doing well their life, Miss, I gotta say. Thank you. I appreciate that. He's hot. That's nice. So that's the newest one we haven't released. And uh, some more, more reaction figures we've done in the past the Illuminators and the Valentine's Day 2 pack. And uh, what we realized is that a lot of people don't necessarily know that we've done all of these universal monsters. I mean, if you just take a step back and zoom out, I mean, look at all of these guys. You get all of these figures from us. And, you know, we realized a lot of people joined our, you know, the, the, into the Super 7 fun maybe after these guys' time, you know? So it's been, it's been a lot of fun to be able to show people, like, hey, look at all this stuff you can still get. Because, you know, a lot of people pick and choose their favorite monster, but, I mean, look how good they look all together. Yeah, he mole people is, is way old. So I think he's like the first wave. So yeah, like I gonna, have you seen the mole person before? In real life? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I have. Actually. Well, are we getting that deep? Like I was like, how do you feel about sewer gators? You know. <laughs> uh, another another favorite of mine here is the Toho collection. Uh, up here you have Wave 2, which is now on the water from China, coming, coming to collectors very soon. So, I mean, that's my favorite version of Mechagodzilla in all of his diamond-coated glory. Uh, really excited about this one, especially that we got to do the, the backpack and uh, 
make him Super Mecha Godzilla. Then uh, another fun part of that is the uh, you can see it in the front there on the ground or not on the ground on the shelf. The taser wires he comes with are actual metal, so they'll they'll stay in, they'll stand out straight like he's actually shooting them out of his forearms, which is really fun. Yeah, real steel cables. And, yeah, burning Godzilla, which is one of my favorite versions of Godzilla, who just looks awesome with his smoke effects and his burning deco and. We, we, we took a lot of uh, notes from the criticisms from the first wave and we're able to apply some of those changes uh, on the second wave. So you'll notice he has a lot more of a matte coating on his, uh, his plastic and uh, all of the teeth are individually painted as well as opposed to the kind of dentine strip that we had for the first one down here <laughs> on the second shelf. So you, you can see a big difference there in how that deco looks. And then, uh, and these are all coming out at the same time. So wave one down here is available now. I'm shipping to people already, but wave two is coming out at the end of the year. Have same. you announced wave three? Wave three is right here. This is also coming out at the end of the year. So wave three, you know, if he's burning in wave two, he's melting down. <laughs> Sorry, he's 1,200 degrees Celsius in wave three, where you can see his bones and, he, and his skull, and he's coming down. And then the big bad of that movie is Destroya. Or as I call him, Crab Satan. <laughs> uh, just a, a really impressive figure, and he's heavy. He's like four pounds. Really? Yeah, he's crazy. What would the price point be on that one? One twenty. I think it's. Oh, I think it's one ten. I think that's an error, but. Oh, okay. We'll see. So, but our, yeah, our Godzilla line is usually eighty five dollars, but he's so big we had to charge a little bit more. Right. So, and then uh, prototypes for Wave Four: Space Godzilla and Mogura. Space Godzilla is one of my favorite kaiju designs probably ever. So, really excited to be able to bring him into the Ultimates line. Now, when you're picking a specific character for Godzilla, what kind of uh, decision making is that? Well, we all sort of discuss it. Uh, Flynn has his favorites, I have mine. He's more of into like the classic, like the Showa era stuff, like the 60s and 70s. But these 90s characters are really like my Godzillas. And so, I, I have a lot of opinions on that kind of right. stuff. Um, but we, you know, the thing is, is like a lot of these like decisions, like people are like, oh, how do you, how do you decide this stuff? It's like the the best characters, like they're easy to pick. Like the, it's not rocket science that we're doing here. Like the the, the coolest Everyone's ones are, are usually the obvious ones, right? So we try and do some deep cuts, like you know the the Rose version of Biollante or whatever. But um, you know, again, like if you're gonna do a Godzilla line, there's like core characters and core villains you have to have. Like Space Godzilla and Destroya are kind of like top tier villains for that era. I'm a little impartial to, well, I mean, there's Mothra, obviously. I don't sure, know. yeah, I mean, Mothra, you gotta get to eventually, of course. Um, you got a king of the monsters, you need a queen of the monsters. King Ghidorah, so. Yeah, King Ghidorah, oh my god, I can't even imagine how big a King Ghidorah would be in I mean, this you, scale. You guys specialize in gigantic figures. I know, So I, I didn't know. feel like it's such a reach <laughs> to kind of think about that. It'd be so wild. Yeah. I'd love to do him, though. I'd love to design I'm, that guy. I'm in person so to fun. the 2000 Godzilla. I know that. Uh, oh, the, 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 the Broderick yeah, Godzilla, yeah, yeah. you know? 1998, yeah. 1998, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, the Iguana Godzilla, the Iguana, yeah. He's yeah. pretty cool. Actually, you know why? When I flew in here, it was looking like Godzilla 1998 yeah, a outside really a little was, bit really with the floods was, yeah. and stuff. Matthew Broderick was running around the streets. That's right. He does that. Singing also. in the rain. Uh, he, uh, yeah, and so we also not only do the Ultimates, we do the reaction stuff as well. Some of the old Shogun uh, reactions as well. Then uh, back there, you're seeing some first looks at some NYCC exclusives here. So the Glow 62, the Glow Gigan, and then the. Uh, box set here of the skeleton of Godzilla with the open oxygen destroyer from the end of that movie. Then uh, again just showing people the breadth of stuff that we've done here for Godzilla. Waves 1 and 2 and 3 of uh, Toho reaction plus some masks and puzzles that we've done because I mean we, we kind of have every category once we grab a license so it's a lot of fun to be able to make all this cool stuff. Yeah absolutely. Oh, here we go. This oh, is this, go. this is why you came. We probably should have started here. I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. No. I want the full spectrum. I know you do, but here I'll figure report exclusive oh, here. Wow. 
get get up get up in there. Yeah, exactly. Look at you know to to quote uh, is it Wedge Antilles? Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> he is ginormous, roughly something like five pounds of plastic or whatever. Because you know I was setting him up in the case. It's probably not great to say, but I dropped him on my foot. Oh. And it really hurt. He's really heavy. That's how heavy. Steel it is. toes only when you play with Gorilla Gorilla from how the far Ultimates along line. Is the so th these are all test shots. So what you're looking at is all plastic. Okay. Um, so we're 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 on track for these guys to come out uh, Q2 of 2024. So really excited about these guys. We realize that there's been a long, long, long delay, but uh, they're here. They're coming. We had some issues we need to get rid of, get you know, work through with the factory. But uh, they're here. They are unchanged from what was solicited. No, you know, no one, no one's getting in our way. We're we're releasing these guys. So get excited. You get the punk rock Don and the metalhead Michelangelo and you know Triceraton with his wrist communicator and just these guys come with so many accessories. I feel kind of bad that I was unable to like properly kind of merchandise how these accessories look but it's just there's no room on the shelf yeah. for all the stuff they come with it, it's wild so uh, really excited about these guys and it's I you know I like you said we're kind of known for big toys but this is yeah. this is a big boy wave this is a big boy all wave. of these guys are massive roughly the size of your average human child <laughs> but more playful more fun a little bit more play more yeah. play more more fun than a usual child I okay. think so all right Fair. You heard it. You heard it on the figure report first. Cut that out. So, <laughs> then everybody knows the core turtles. But again, not everybody knows that we make the core turtles. So you got to make sure you show that off to everybody. 100%. Then right below that, you're looking at the first deco samples for TMNT Wave Nine. So Zach the Neutrino and his like iridescent metallic glory here. And then right to the right of him, you have the flocked splinter, just like the vintage toy, but now fuzzy, just like that vintage toy. There was a flock splinter in the vintage line, I think. So that's always exciting. Yeah. I love the fuzzy one. That was my favorite. Yeah. Well, I, I <laughs> shout out to Robo and the Foosh. I tried to hand it to him yesterday, and he was not having it. So, no. Yeah, go for it. Careful, don't knock his head off. There you go. Yep. Ah, uh, no, see? That is what happens. You're good, you're good. Nothing happened, everybody. Keep watching the show. Uh, then look at that wing nut. So exciting. I remember it being massive as a kid. Yes, he was big then. Roughly, yes, exactly. Small human child. Uh, but he comes with the, you know, you can take the wings off, you can take the metallic wings off. He has a lot of a lot of display options for this guy as well. Is the cape wired? Or? Wired cape, that's right. So you'll be able to blow it in the wind and it'll have a lot of fun with it. So I'm very proud of that guy. I'm a big Batman fan. I mean, man, bat, I mean, uh, what? nocturnal creature man. Uh, yep. So being able to do that might be the closest I'll ever get to making a figure of that guy. So. It's you been a lot know. of fun. You never, know. you never know. You never know. Who knows? Who knows what's on the horizon? But uh, right now, I'm having a lot of fun working on this guy. So he's That's been impressive. cool. Really, really fun. Super massive. Yeah. Super There's a few things on, on this wave that we need to, to figure out uh, deco-wise. Uh -huh. But uh, they're all plastic. They're all, they're all working on, on getting here. Uh, but yeah, it'll be early next year for these guys. So they'll ship a little bit before wave seven. Scumbug. Scumbug. Lots of fun with all of his bugs and his hoses and his hands and all that fun stuff but uh seen a lot of a lot of love online for slam dunk and don here with his air turtles and all that fun stuff i i'm just glad that they let me uh make it so you can build your own hoop out of all of the stuff like his his bow staff becomes the rod for the hoop and oh, wow. yeah, there it is. that kind of fun stuff yeah <laughs> nuts. He, he is nuts. That's why they call him that. Those wings are nuts. All right. All right. Well, let me take this. So what you're looking at up here is uh, these are the production samples for TMNT Wave 8 up here. So what you see is what you get here in the case for Robot Rocksteady, Genghis Frog, 
Silver Shredder and Space Cadet Wrap. I know people are very excited about these. I am as well. I think Genghis Frog was my favorite. Yeah? Yeah. That was the one I... That one's Samurai Leo. So oh, yeah. You so you're getting those. these, huh? Yeah. I mean, child me is freaking out. Yeah, I, I bet. I, I had Space Cadet Wrap as a kid. And cool. Ray Filet. So, like, being able to get those is really, really fun. Were there uh, any thoughts of going the monster route for these as well? Maybe, yeah. Maybe. If, if we think there's a demand for it, yeah, absolutely. Um, but then, I mean, Peace Day Resistance here. The Party Wagon. Uh, all, this is the production one. This is what you'll be getting. I mean, look at this guy. You get the this pizza spinning rims, right? And they actually they actually work. So if you, uh, if you start rolling it and you stop it, the wheels will keep going, which is, is really fun. But uh, get to, this opens up. It's got a little seat belt here that you can put you can strap your turtle in here uh, the bombs roll out the doors open you can get all the consoles yeah get all get all up in there you see all that amazing deco with the duct tape seats and the consoles and there's uh you can see that there there's let me get past you here sorry there's a removable you can remove the uh the boom box here, so that's just an accessory for the turtles. You can have them rocket walk. Yep, around. exactly. Uh, you can also remove, if you don't particularly care for the pizza spinners, you can pull those out. Now it's just green, uh, green hug caps. Uh, but uh, for one feature that some people don't necessarily know about, um, I know that you know a lot of toy photographers have to worry about working through. You know, working with something like this is like, how do I, how do I place my camera in it? How do I get stuff in there? Uh, so these panels are actually fully removable, so you can get. And so is this, and a lot of the parts come off and pop back on, so you can get your camera in there for those tight shots if you want. You know, little lifestyle shots of the turtles partying in the wagon and that kind of stuff. So uh, try to try to take those considerations where we can. That's good. You know, application where it's like have multi-use where you can exactly. keep in mind that toy photographers and videographers don't want to actually Absolutely, it. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, and it comes with all these accessories as well, the roadkill mouser, all of the uh, the tools to fix it. Each turtle has their own little bit of headgear. Real steel chain on that tow winch, and then he'll come with that little toolbox as well. And then some stickers you can apply yourself, however you want to customize your party wagon. And then, uh, just because we know that this took a little bit longer than planned, uh, everybody who per who purchased a party wagon will be receiving this kind of bonus pack of uh, extra paper goods as well. So some stickers, uh, driver's license, a little fold out, and then the uh, the keychain for your uh, your real keys. Here. That is wild. That is so cool. Yeah. Really great. Thank you. So this is definitely coming out this year. This yes, absolutely. Year. Yeah, the, as I understand it, they just finished injecting all of the parts for this guy, okay. and so they're. But the box is so big that they have to do it in kind of you know chunks. So they can't ship it all out at once. No? We have not shown off the box yet. We did a digital render of it, but okay. uh, I have it here. But it's so big, I can't even fit it in this case. Well, maybe we could go in the back and check it. I, it's not even here. It's in storage. I gotta go. I'd have to go grab it. But uh, well, I'm sure you'll see people start posting it as soon as they get it. But it's it looks exactly like the render that we had. It has kind of the brick motif and stuff that we have for the other turtle boxes, but with that party wagon art that we did. So yeah, but we also you know we also do uh, reaction figures as well for turtles which are all kind of leaning into that vintage format uh, a little bit. Lots of classic designs. I mean, there's your boy right there, Samurai yeah. Leo. Boy. And then we're getting into, uh, there's a carry case. We've done enough of them now that we have a carrying case. And then we're also getting into some tune reaction figures as well here. Yeah. Yeah, real unique card art. Cool. Look at this. Get into some Thundercats here. Pardon us. So, yeah. 
Thundercats. These are these are some of the figures that everybody already already either has or knows. But again, a lot of people don't know who we are. So we're just trying to show off the breadth of stuff we can do. They'll know you now. They'll, They'll know, know us now. now. That's right. They'll remember our names now. So very exciting. Um, then a little bit down here, we have some prototypes for, I believe this is Wave 8 and Wave 9. Wily Kit and Cat. Some of the Loon Attacks. Very exciting stuff. Yep. He's done the digital render of that one. Right? Yeah, we did the digital renders of these, but this is the first time we're showing the, the actual 3D prototypes. And those sculpts are completely different from the Mattel one, the Wily Kit. Yeah, these are wildly different. These were redone, uh, I believe, by uh, Fanplastic4 on Instagram. So, uh, really, he's, a, he's an amazing sculptor. If we've been able to work with him, is great. Yeah. Yep, exactly. They'll get all the hoverboard action you could ever desire. And below that is the production uh, deco samples for Wave 7 with. Uh, Snarf, everybody needs a snarf. And then uh, my uh, my personal favorite, Mongor. Gonna put him on my shelf with all my heavy metal rockers. These are as close to retail as possible, right? Yeah, and then package samples of some of the exclusives we've done. So I mean, everybody remember San Diego, Comic Con, uh, Lion O, but then that's the Glow Chitara and the Spirit Jaga. Uh, very exciting about these, or Ghost the, Jaga, sorry. For snarf, that's the plastic around his beard, that's how it'll look. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if there's like some stuff that they need to do on the plastic, just like some paint, just yet. But that is the actual plastic. There might be some like additional yeah, applications yeah. to it. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. If anything, it's gonna look better than what you're seeing there, not worse. Okay. So. Then Silverhawks, sort of the similar vein of Thundercats, where you have Wave One up here. Everybody has these already, and then Wave Two below that. the reception been to Silverhawks? So far, so good. Yeah, we really like it. I mean, obviously, there's there's a little bit of a kerfuffle, you could say, where we told everybody, hey, we can't do this, but it's not that we couldn't do it. It's that we were trying to figure it out mm -hmm. with, the, with these VAC metal figures because right. wanted to make sure that we could get it correct before we said, hey, we're, we're, we told people, hey, we can do this. Right, right. So we wanted to make sure that we were, it was within our wheelhouse to do, and it took, a, it took that long for us to figure out how to do it correctly. So... This is the. Looks like you guys nailed it here. Thank you, I appreciate that. So this is wave four, the toy recolors. You get that that back metal that they, everybody's been clamoring for. <laughs> What's the material they use? Uh, so it's still plastic. It's just uh, the, what what's called a durometer is is different, and that's it's an increase of uh, the hardness of the plastic because the the process you know requires a very stiff plastic to actually like have something to cling to. So it was just a matter of finding out those plastic tolerances and making that work for it. Yeah. Yeah. Quarter one of next year. Mm -hmm. They're available for pre-order now. I believe the pre-order closed, yeah, but you can still get right? them from other partner retailers like Big Bad or something. So. And then, you know, not for nothing, Monstar and Buzzstar are still pretty cool, even though they're not back metal. And then below that, we have the first test shots of... Wave three of Silverhawks with Hot Wing and Commander Stargazer, Molecular, and Mumbo Jumbo. And then uh, the Reptilians pack for Thundercats, sorry, we're crossing the streams here, is uh, coming out. They're actually delivering pretty soon. I think they'll be at the end of the year. So, love that. Everybody loves that Slythe body from Thundercats. And so, getting a whole wave of army builders in that Slythe body was a lot of fun. Thank you, thank yeah. you. That was stressful time, but we made it. We did it. Thank you to everybody who helped make that possible. We're very excited for the support. That's right. That's right. That's a little bit. It does not. A little bit of a tease, though. So, GI Joe here. Uh, you're getting, you know, we're trying again, showing off that breadth of product that we have. You have Wave One and Two up here, but you also have some first looks at Wave Three production samples with. Doc and Scarlet here, and then uh, over on the right side you get Storm, Tro Storm Shadow and Cobra Trooper. We make a lot of GI Joes. 
you can you can kind of tell that it's kind of hard for us to fit all of these on one shelf. I'm not sure I still I'm still not sure I nailed it. I mean, it's but, a good problem uh, to have. I think. <laughs> that's true. You're right. A lot of collectors have problems. You're right. With. And then uh, get these are the painted prototypes for Wave Four here, with Zartan, Baroness, uh, Gung Ho, and Stalker. Look how smug that Baroness is. I know. She has such attitude. She's got that attitude. It's, it's perfect. I do like the, the red on it, the, the eyes as well. Yeah. It has like um, the sort of, I know sometimes they have a little bit of a glossier finish. These have a little bit more matte. I know the prototypes are a little bit Yeah, we've been working on, on making the matte finish a real thing. I mean, you can see it up on the Scarlet figure that it's, it's much improved over the Lady J. So I want everybody to know that we do hear you. We are working on actively improving the line as we go. We do hear that feedback. We appreciate the constructive criticism. <laughs> Capital C Constructive. Capital C Constructive, that's right. And then to the right of that, you have the prototypes for Wave 5. As well. Cover Girl, Roadblock, the Crimson Guard, and uh, Major Blood. All the head sculpts, all the accessories, of course. Yeah. That Gatling gun. Ginormous. It's insane. Sons of guns, accessories. Yep. And then below that, again, there's the breadth of product we make. Look at all, look at all these Joes. We've made so many GI Joe figures. Python Patrol, Python Patrol variants, and new waves, new characters. All this amazing custom art by Jason Edmiston. Down here. Yeah. And some of the box sets from San Diego we've done. Even more Joes. Man, it would be so nice if there were this many Joes had one place they could go to in your collection. Yeah, who knows? Oh my gosh, what is this? This is the mothership. So... That amazing Cobra mothership from the intro of the movie that was on screen for, what, 10 seconds? Yeah. Is now getting... Let's make it. Yeah, let's do it. That's yeah. sort of the wheelhouse. You get, you now get the whole mothership here. It comes with, you know, it's, it'll, the, the plan is a crowdfund here. Everybody, you know, kind of hates that, that word right now, but it's these big dream projects. It's really the, the best way to, to get it out to the people who want it. Um, you know, trouble bubbles will be tears. It comes with missiles. It'll light up. Uh, make sure you get underneath there. You can kind of see the like rocket propeller effects that stand it up. It's really exciting. And uh, we showed off that it, it does open up. There's multiple panels. Um, it might even come with some exclusive figures as well. Who knows? Like City yeah, I know. I kind of want to make him a little cowboy hat <laughs> to, to ride around on there. I but know. Uh, yeah, yeah, we sort of view this as the Millennium Falcon of GI Joes. Yeah. So it's really exciting. Uh, we hope everyone likes it. Very Did you excited. The price for this yet, or no? We have not announced the price for it yet, but uh, we will soon. Uh, but everybody who is watching at home can scan the QR code here down on the right and uh, get more information about the Cobra Mothership. Coming soon. Very soon. Uh, have you announced when the cat flare is coming out? Uh, it'll be next year for sure. I'm not 100% on that, but we did just approve it to uh, 3D print for tooling. So we are moving forward with it at the factory already. So. Kyle, man. Oh, that was expensive. Right. I know. <laughs> that was on you. Thank you. That's okay. Again, man, yeah, it's thank you for out. having me. It's so, so fun to talk to you. I've, it's been so long. I'm finally, we finally get to hang out. It's very exciting. Right. So, thank you, man. Thank you guys. Appreciate it.